Welcome to this week's edition of AI Protopia News Weekly, where we explore the latest breakthroughs in artificial intelligence and technology. I'm Eden, and today we have a packed agenda, including a deep dive into OpenAI's newly launched Sora. Let's start with the headline everyone's talking about. OpenAI has officially launched Sora, their highly anticipated text-to-video AI model. Unveiled as part of their 12 Days of OpenAI event, Sora allows users to generate videos from text prompts, animate images, and remix existing videos. It's available at Sora.com for ChatGPT Plus and Pro subscribers in the US and most other countries, though its release in Europe and the UK is delayed. Shocker. Let's take a pick at some of the generated videos. Okay, so these look really good, but here's the kicker. Using Sora to create videos with human-like images or animations requires the Pro Plan, which costs a jaw-dropping $200 a month, and anything remotely similar to copyrighted images gets declined. Yes, you heard that right. OpenAI is essentially charging creators a premium for features that many competitors provide at a fraction of the cost, or even for free. It's like showing up late to the party and charging everyone a cover fee for stale snacks. While tools like Minimax and Kling offer flexibility, affordability, and fewer creative handcuffs, Sora, despite all the hype, feels more like a restrictive and overpriced afterthought. OpenAI, we love GPT, but this Sora launch is garbage. Speaking of Minimax, they've recently introduced a new feature that animates still images into dynamic videos. This tool offers a user-friendly interface and is accessible for free, making it an attractive option for creators looking to bring their images to life without breaking the bank. It's super cool, take a look. Shifting focus to Europe, a recent report has highlighted that the EU's progress in artificial intelligence is insufficient to compete with the US and China. The report criticises the EU's over-regulation, which stifles innovation and deters cutting-edge companies from operating within Europe. This regulatory environment is causing Europe to fall behind in the global AI race, a situation that is both ironic and alarming. And here's the punchline. The EU is crying about falling behind while they suffocate AI innovation with their relentless regulations. Imagine chasing away cutting-edge companies with endless red tape and then having the audacity to complain that you're losing the race. It's almost comical, if it weren't so sad. Maybe instead of over-regulating, they should focus on creating an environment where AI companies actually want to operate. But hey, why fix the problem when you can just whine about it instead? That's all for this week. Thanks for watching, and please hit that like and subscribe button. We really do care. Ciao.